All right, this video is my latest for the C64 copy protection web page. So I'm out in the workshop. Just want to show you guys some of the stuff out uh, here. Some of my pinball machines, uh, Twilight Zone, Star Trek Next Generation, Tempest, Donkey Kong, Outrun. Some of the games I'm working on. Right now I'm working on pole position and uh, that's the back of battle zone right there. That one almost finished. Just have to work on fixing the light up here. I'm just going to replace that. All right. Everything else is working. I have a uh, super hang on. I'm working on the monitor right now. But this is my workstation. All right, it's not very organized, but what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to check and change a fuse in your Commodore 64. So this is pretty easy. Should just take you a couple minutes. All right, so this one uses a little uh, star screw. So we have this bit here. We have three screws to remove. And we're going to remove this, or these screws, and then flip it back over. So this will just take a second. So now the screws are loose, just flip this off. And there's a little plug here that hooks to the keyboard light, or the, actually the power light up here. So we'll remove that. And we turn this around. Now I'm gonna remove these two screws. So we can lift the uh, keyboard right off. All right, now the keyboard just lifts right up. And then remove this plug. Remember which way it goes. It only fits one way. So remove this, move your keyboard aside. Now we have six or seven screws to remove from the metal shielding here. This one's missing one. So we'll remove this and then we can get to the fuse. All right, that metal shield just lifts straight up. So here is the inside of your Commodore 64. And here is your fuse. So looking at the schematic here, this is the power section, comes in. Here's the fuse section on the schematics. F1 means it's fuse one. Uh, it's nine volts AC and one A means it's one amp. So, this is what we need. So this fuse should be a one amp fuse. So we can replace it. We replace it with a one amp fuse. So how do we test this to make sure it's working? So to test the fuse, get out your digital multimeter, put it on continuity, and I like to turn the beep on. So touch your leads, make sure it works. So you could test it like this. But that won't give you a real accurate reading. You need to pop the fuse to check it. So I use a bent screwdriver. Or you can just use your hand. All you gotta do is pop one side up. Now you test it. And you tell the fuse is good. But let's check how many amps this is. But it's a four amp fuse. And we know it should be a one amp fuse, so that's not good. All right, I have um, get out my box of fuses. Here's a container full of fuses, and let's find the right fuse. All right, so after you find the right fuse, mainly you just stick it back, center it up, push it straight down. Uh, don't use a slow blow fuse; just use a regular fuse. And I'll just put it back together. So we're going to start off putting the, the metal cage back on. So next, plug your keyboard back in. It only will fit one way because how it's keyed. And then you have to slide the keyboard under these notches. And... Put in these two screws back in and then put the case back on. 
Okay, and one last thing is to remember to plug your power light back in before you put the final screws in. So I'm just going to turn it over, put in these final three screws, and we're done. So that's it. Very simple. Uh, it takes us five or ten minutes to do this. So uh, keep watching for more Commodore 64 videos. I'm going to do one on the Zoom Floppy very soon.